guys here is my mango that I'm going to harvest them because they are already ready to be harvested and oh I'm sorry for that it's a lot here so all here look at my sugar peas so to harvest this for three or the four days and let's see if they are still like this I'm going to leave them alone for at least one week look at my sweet uh, sweet potatoes and I guess this is zucchini or squash I don't know maybe but let's see they are already bearing flowers and they are a little big look they're already bearing flowers and I guess they have already fruit in it and I hope that they are all will be okay as it is and now my tomatoes tomatoes are also bearing flowers right now and also with my beans the beans look <laughs> there are some uh, I guess what is this cucumber I don't know exactly but I just leave them alone if they were be going to have fruits the much better if not it's okay also so I have here my salad I don't know what salad what kind of salad is this but it's this I don't know exactly what I am doing I guess this is head salad I don't know but let's see and also my onions look here is my potatoes so the potatoes are already bearing flowers and I guess they are also having tubers inside so I'm very curious already if they are um, what do you call this doing great or not and these are my bok choy the flowers of bok choy are very uh, pretty they are very pretty indeed look aren't they pretty so now guys I am going to harvest them and let's cook for lunch I am going to harvest all the, the vegetables that I have uh, because maybe next week maybe I'm going to replant another plants for that already for the next few months hey guys so this is my harvest for today I have here my mint I don't know this is peppermint I don't know lemon mint I don't know what are they but they are two different kinds uh, of mint so I have here chives and I also have here my see <laughs> they are very colorful <laughs> this is my mangold or chards so I already picked them and I'm going to cook them with bacon and let's see I guess I could not cook them for once at once because they are so much so I'm going to have them half and I have also think that I'm going to experiment this because I have so much mint and I don't know what I am going to do with this so I will try to have a syrup with them so let's see if I will be successful I don't know yet because this will be my first time doing this and I hope that it will be okay guys that's all for now guys and I will see you later and I will update you if I will be successful or not okay bye hi guys I am here I have here also my this is what what I harvested today in my garden so I have here chives but look they are so much for today so I'm not going to cook them at once I am going to chop them and freeze them and I will use them for the future uh, for the soup I have them all washed so I am going to chop them like this so it's easy for me when they are all frozen and uh, they are easy to handle if they are already chopped thinly 
So I'm going to freeze them and also the kids like them in their soup. So whatever soup it is, so they are going to put some chives on that. So I like the chives so much. I like the chives because of this, the smell. The essence of its strong smell. So I like them. I like them for the soup. So I am just going to slice them and then put them in the freezer, uh, in the Ziploc bag or freezer bag or anything that you have in hand. So that's not a problem at all. I just chop them and then and put them into the freezer. So it's, it is very easy guys. So this is what I always do when I have so much um, harvest half I'm going to cook and then the other one will be frozen will be for the next use mostly when it is winter time I need them I need I need the chives I need everything which I cannot um, harvest during winter time so that's the reason that I always prepare something that I can use later so here it is guys i have already chopped all the chives that i have and the half this is already in the freezer so now i have here the chives i have here zucchini and i have also here bell pepper so the bell pepper i am going to slice them very thinly so that it's easy to cook and uh because i have here the chives very thinly sliced and I need to have this also very thinly but it's not a problem if you want to have this crunchy because they can also be eaten raw so there's no problem for that if you want to but I like to have them not so crunchy so I have here I put all to get much time today to cook because I was in the garden harvested all those vegetables that needed to be harvested so that's the reason that i'm going to do a dish was what is very easy and very quick to do it's almost 11 o'clock here in the morning any time from now the kids will be at home 12 i have just one one hour more to go to cook for lunch so i have here the what we call this one shredder cheese shredded i don't know so i i'm going to use this one because i do not want to use my riser i don't want to to wash them so i just use this one because it's not much i just have two zucchinis here and it's not a big problem at all so just like this i have them all washed so no worries And I am not going to put onion with this because of the chives. The chives is very strong. The smell of the chives is very strong. So I guess I don't need to have onion at all. So maybe I'm going to put um, garlic, but it's not, it's optional. It's not so witty. Uh, it's not so important. <laughs> okay, so I have here my uh, zucchini. I'm going to put them also here. So that's very easy guys and usually when I'm going to make zucchini puffa I used my riser because it's easier <laughs> it's easier it's easier when I'm going to cook um, to make one kilos or uh, one and a half and half kilos of the zucchini the riser is, um, for me is much better so but here I have just two zucchini so it doesn't matter at all it's just a sort of exercise <laughs> So I guess I'm not going to cook the mango today because I, I was what I've said, I have no much time. So I'm just going to cook the zucchinis, uh, this this one, and let's see what can what will be the other one that I'm going to make as a side dish. I have here leftover fried rice from yesterday, so the kids will eat them. The fried rice, they love fried rice. so. 
I am going to give them with the this omelette side I have here zucchini um, bell pepper and also the chives and now I'm going to put the egg and the flour and also the cheese oh I'm sorry I forgot oh. to turn the camera on it's not on the video is not on so I'm going to tell you everything what is all inside I have here my pepper my salt uh, this one the cheese all of them and I have also seven pieces of eggs so and here is now the mixture for this now I am going for the binder I'm going to put some flour and let's see so that it's easy to handle because uh, I guess I need a little bit Okay, so it's already 11 o'clock in 5 minutes, 11, 5, so I need to go to make it faster because the kids will be home at 12. So here, here it is guys, this is our mixture and I'm going to um, cook them in the head in the head pan and then let's see if it will work so i have already my pan heated and i'm going to put this into the pan it looks like and let's wait until it will be golden brown and we are going to flip them on the other side and when the, it is also golden brown it's ready to serve okay guys I'm, I have so much work to do. Look, these are very much, this is a very big portion. And I guess I'm going to have about 30 minutes for all of this because I just have one pan here. And, but it's not a problem. I'll be made, or maybe later I'm going to cook the half of this later for my husband's um, food for work. So that's all for now, guys. And I will update you later if the kids will like them or not. This is how it looks like guys and I have already here some of them. Hallo meine Lieben, das ist unser Mittagessen und jetzt kochen wir. Und was ist unser Mittagessen? Ja, ist unser Mittagessen, hey, weiß ich nicht. Ein <lacht> Leibchen mit Schnittlauch ähm, und hier Paprika. Ja. Und mit Ei. Mhm. Und wie schmeckt? Mama? Ja. Gut ist das? Ah, das ist ähm, Zucchini. Mit Zucchini. Ja, mit Zucchini drinnen. Und schmeckt? Mhm. mhm. Ich, ich kann mich nicht entscheiden, welche Soße. Mein Liebling. Mein Liebling. Katja, was ist auf Tomaten? So mag der kein Salat, nur gleich wie das ist er. Okay. Ist ja eh schon Gemüse drin, Mama. Okay. Mhm. Ich kann schon ein bisschen mehr, Mama. Ich kann schon ein bisschen mehr. So. Mhm. 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 Mhm.